Chapter 1. Reborn. You are listening at FameTV.info. Chapter 1. Reborn Translator. Henyi Translations Editor. Henyi Translation Spring March, Year 22 in the Saint Divine Land that IT was a lively sight in the capital, with flowers blooming everywhere. The begonias in the Gu Mansion stood out above all, embellishing the garden with various colors. They were arranged in this manner simply because the second miss of the Gu Mansion was partial to begonias, standing in big contrast was the Cheong Pavilion. It was a cramped and shabby house with weed growing in the yard. Almost no sunshine could penetrate through the place, making the surroundings extremely damp. Had it not been located within the area of the Gu Mansion, this patch of land would have been mistakenly considered as a slum dwelling. Ji Yu Chaoyan felt that her body was sticky and cold. She opened her eyes and was blinded by the sudden light. Gu Chao Yen was dizzy and couldn't decipher the murmurs around her, her head was aching terrible and her stomach seemed to be bloated. Was her belly full of water? Her clothes were soaked and the clothes clung tightly to her body, she remembered that she had died, was her corpse getting a bath at the funeral parlor now, but the color of her clothes was wrong. She was dressed in an outfit made of hemp material. Ji Yu Chao Yen raised her hands and found them to be chubby and tanned. She had never been so plump. Her skin was always pale and delicate, and her face had been considered as one of the prettiest. Oh, miss, finally you are awake. A silhouette in light green clothes appeared in front of Gu Chao Yen as she tried to move her sore body. Miss, the old master said that once you are awake, you should go to the front yard, but I am afraid. The girl started to sob while speaking. It seems that your marriage with the prince is ruined. Miss, you loved him so deeply, but he treated you so ruthlessly, what will you do in the future? Madam went away when you were young, and the old master is being so, Mississippi prince. Marriage, what was going on? Ji Yu Chao Yen was about to say something when a barrage of memories, which did not belong to her, appeared in her head, there were four countries in the current world. The North Chi Land, the Saint Divine Land, the Feather Mulberry Land, and the Cloud Land. She was currently in the Saint Divine Land. The original host of this body was Gu Chao Yen, the lineal daughter of the Gu family in the capital of the Saint Divine Land. Gu Chao Yen had been engaged to Lu Jiming, the Prince of Duke Changning, in their childhood. Gu Chao Yen, the lineal daughter, was a chubby kid with extremely tan skin ever since she was a kid. As she grew older, she became even more hideous looking. Moreover, she had a terrible temper and sometimes shoplifted things that belonged to other mansions and didn't even spare the servants. In the end, she was detested not only by her fiancé but also by everyone in the Gu mansion. So, one day before her wedding, Gu Chao Yen received the divorce paper from Duke Changning's mansion, she went to Duke Changning's mansion without hesitation and kneeled down in front of the mansion for hours, begging the prince not to divorce her. She cried and screamed and even threatened to take her life that I in front of all the members of the mansion, Lu Jiming told her gently that he would withdraw the divorce paper, as long as she jumped into the lake. Ji Yu Chao Yen proceeded to do so without any hesitation, she was eventually rescued only because she was a part of the Gu mansion. She was returned to the Gu mansion soaked in water. In the process, she managed to turn herself into the biggest laughing stock of the capital. Understandably, her father was extremely furious. As far as Gu Chao Yen could remember, her second sister, the prettiest lady in the whole family, was involved in this plan too. Ji Yu Chao Yen had not expected that the original host of this body underwent an even tougher life experience than she did. She could not help but feel a bit sorry for her. Well, since she was now in her body, she was definitely going to get back everything that should belong to her and take the revenge that the host should have taken. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.